friends, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, okay, so I'm already, if you haven't already seen, I'm already in D23 by the time you're watching this video. So I knew that I was going to go on vacation. I knew I was going to go to California and I knew I was going to see a bunch of people I haven't seen in a really long time, two years to be exact. But I'm the kind of person that if you like something from my sketchbook, I will rip it out if I know you as a friend or just if I know you as a person if you ask me for it then chances are I'm gonna rip it right out so I thought that this these two sketchbooks are already practically full and I know they've got a ton of pieces in them that I know people are gonna want to take so I thought we would do a sketchbook tour before I completely destroy these beautiful sketchbooks. Now for the first sketchbook, this is actually my Moleskin. Now Moleskin's a really nice pa like company that makes notebooks and they have super nice paper for sketchbooks and everything. So I really like the quality. I like that it's this big. It's probably, uh, it is eight by five. And you probably saw an older video where I actually painted the cover and see I carry this thing with me everywhere as you can see it has not been hurt at all so it's able to get painting on the front cover so let's go ahead and open it up this is actually um, see you can tell that I already started ripping stuff up <laughs> So this is actually just some orig original characters, nothing too serious, it's just a little girl and a fox. Ah! So I made this when Series of Fortune Events was first released on Netflix. So as you can see, it's just a little doodle of Count Olaf and the Baudelaire Orphan. This is Lucy in Aslan, because I was currently reading the Chronicles of Narnia, so I went ahead and doodled up Aslan and Lucy in my own style. Uh, this was La La Land, so if you guys have seen, this is Seb and this is Mia. And then for Easter, I drew Goofy in an Easter Bunny costume, he's so cute. And then I have Wendy and Peter. And this is what I like about Moleskin too, is that I can draw onto the other side and that's always a lot of fun. Uh, just two characters sharing a milkshake. They're so cute. And then we've got Robin Hood. This was not my original, like it is me drawing it, but this wasn't my original idea. I found it on Pinterest. Shout out to the original artist. And then here's Josh Groban as Pierre from The Great Comet. He's no longer there anymore! This is my husband. Everybody meet Josh, my husband. <laughs> but he was in The Great Comet of 1812 on Broadway and he was Pierre and I was just, this was when the album was released so I felt inspired to draw Pierre sitting at his desk and it says, what about Pierre? And then I've got Nala and Simba. I've got Beauty and the Beast, and this is actually a Glen Keane sketch that I just recreated, like concept art. I've got Goofy. Oh, this is one of my favorites. So I made this when Pie to the Caribbean was released. It's really shiny. It's a gold paint. And then I just went ahead and inked it with a ballpoint pen. This is Copic markers just for fun texture and different looks. And I didn't do anything on this page because of course it bleed, it just bleeds on through so it's always nice to have like a separate piece of paper to put in between pages. I wasn't smart that time. I'm usually pretty good about that. Here's a sketch of Lilo and Stitch. Hercules, come on, Hercules, bless my soul, Hercules on the roll. This was for donut day. This is the original idea. It's just a sloth and a donut because I wanted a donut. I don't want, I can't eat donuts, but I wanted a donut. So I made a sloth with a donut. Ah, here's Lightning McQueen. And I think I just made this cause I was at the racetrack and uh, Car 3 was all, almost in theaters. So this sketch I actually made because I went to Ohio and I went to, what is it? Uh, Cleveland? I don't know. I forgot where it is. Wherever the actual Christmas story house is in Cle- I want to say Cleveland, Ohio. I have no idea. Guys, just correct me if I'm wrong. But I went to Ohio and we actually went to visit a Christmas story and I actually get to create a set this Christmas for the job I work at. I get to create the set and I get to be the scenic artist for it and I get to create a Christmas story. So I went to the house to get inspiration and I held up this doodle 
in front of the actual house. It's really cool. If you don't follow me on Instagram, the picture's on Instagram of this doodle actually in front of the Christmas Story house if you're a huge Christmas Story friend like me. I posted this for Donald Duck's birthday. She's a cute little sketch of Donald. I've got Anastasia and Dimitri from Anastasia. Power line eye to eye. This was after the Tony Awards when uh, a Adorable Ben Platt won the Tony Award and Evan Hansen practically ran away with every single Tony Award. So I love Evan Hansen. If you haven't sat down, if you're a musical person, if you haven't sat down and listened to the show, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. So I drew Ben Platt as Evan Hansen. He's so adorable. I just love him so much. There's a doodle of Moana and it's actually some concept art. I'm not exactly, I'm not sure which one, who, who, which artist. It's one of the really famous concept artists, but I just went ahead and recreated it with concept art from the movie. Oh, my little Robin Hood. Here's a doodle of spirits. I don't know what that is. Oh, I just messed it up. But it's just a quick doodle of spirit. I don't, the only thing I didn't like about this is I, I don't know why, but I chose to draw right on the crack of the book. This is an original art from Peter and the Starcatcher. Uh, these actually two actors are extremely talented teenagers and if you've read the books or if you've seen the play Peter and Molly, Molly's a star catcher and this is actually Tinkerbell with a quick doodle of the genie and as you can see I messed up on his pupil so I tried to go in with some white so a white gel pen and line around his pupils <laughs> it kind of worked it just looks like he has shading now but I just made them way too big ah and in honor of 20 years of Harry Potter, here is a doodle of Harry Potter. So this is from the book Eleanor and Park. I read it. It's an amazing book and I was inspired to draw Eleanor and Park. This is Park. This is Eleanor. It's a super adorable book. If you haven't read it yet, read it. I got a little picture of Todd because I'm obsessed with foxes. I do believe this is the last one. So this is a picture of Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with Tom. He is such a good Spider-Man. He is so cute. This one is actually a CY of Brighton sketchbook and I think Scrawlerbox sent it to me. And ever since Scrawlerbox sent this to me, I just, I have been filling it up. It's great for Copic marker sketches. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. See, yep, this is a scroller box because that's the butterfly. That was the first page. And this is really nice to ca carry around too. It's great for Copic marker. It's very, very fun to work with. Just make sure you put uh, a back piece of paper on the back so it doesn't bleed through. But I love the way that it looks on the back. How cool is that shading? Uh, we got Vanellope as a mermaid that I made for Mermaid. This was a failed attempt of Judy and Nick Wilde as mermaids. I think I just totally messed up because I didn't like how their tails were messing. I mean, meshing together. So I was like, forget it, I'm done. <laughs> so I just gave up on that. Hairy baby. <laughs> this is actually one piece of paper that I'm gonna go have, gonna go ahead and have to rip out pretty soon. We've got the cat returns. The Studio Ghibli, if you haven't seen it, it's amazing. I just did the girl in my own style and the cat in Studio Ghibli style. We've got the Flash and Pikachu because it's the ultimate duo we all want to see and I'm obsessed with the Flash. Rescuers. And then another original doodle of mine of a seahorse and a girl. Probably her pet seahorse. Is it Nessie? Who knows? We'll never know who he is and who the little girl is because it was just an idea in my head. <laughs> now another huge question you're probably going to ask. I actually, guys, I have an Instagram. I post these doodles all the time so you don't have to wait to see this whole video of me actually showing off my sketchbooks. So make sure you follow my Instagram. Now that I'm done with these two sketchbooks, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch off back to this Canson sketchbook. If you can see the label, there it is. This is a Canson sketchbook. I well, that was annoying, but yep, there it is. There's all my wonderful sketchbooks. So yes, this is a great book. It's on Amazon only. It's by Canson. There it is. So make sure if you're looking for a good 8x10 sketchbook to draw big pictures in as opposed to mole, mole skins, go and check that out. You can buy them both off of Amazon. They're pretty cheap. All of my sketchbooks from the past 
have been this brand right here, this sketchbook. And it's got the flap, the magnetic flap. If you can't find it, that'll be the one to point it out. But yes, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day. Go buy a sketchbook so you can be able to show your doodles off and keep them in a good, safe spot. No lined notebook pieces of paper. Sketchbooks are always best. Don't throw them away. Never throw away art. Just so you can look at it in the future. But yes, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye!